What's up guys, and uh, welcome to Left Rousers. There isn't really that much of an intro here. It's sort of weird there's not like really a main title screen. It likes to throw you right into the action as I'm about to launch. So, why don't we? Left Rousers is a really cool game currently out for PS3, PS Vita, and on Steam, which means PC, Mac, and Linux. And it's made by Vlambeer and published by Devolver Digital. Both of those titles have some pretty good reputation to them. Vlambeer is an amazing indie developer. And, um, I mean, Developer Digital has had a good few years now with all the games they've published. Now we're playing Luft Rousers. This was originally some type of Flash game, but they decided to make a full version for consoles, and it's really awesome. Think about, like, a arcade, a high-action Asteroids from, like, 1979. I can't make a direct comparison to Asteroids because I've never played it. It's like 20 years older than me. But it looks a lot like Asteroids sometimes when it comes in gameplay, like if you compare the two. This is obviously a lot faster, a lot high action, and you're not killing Asteroids, you're killing airplanes that are flying at you. But uh, it's very high paced and a lot of action and I really enjoy it. It's really nice for some quick gameplay if you just want to pick it up and play for a little bit or maybe you want to play for a few hours. Both are good. I mean, it's very difficult though, very hard to get the hang of, but there is definitely a lot of nice things to it, like the customizable ships. But uh, I'll sort of explain the gameplay here. Basically, I'm flying around, I wanna press, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm playing on the PS3 controller, you can also play on the keyboard and it works fine. Also on the PS Vita controls, it works great. I'm pressing the up on the D-pad and it makes me go forward and then holding X or any of the X square circle triangle buttons will shoot out some of my laser, which I can change for different things. And it sort of has this like this floaty, like if I stop, I'm gonna continue flying and until the gravity pulls me back down, and I just sort of want to survive. And I can, you know, do some cool maneuvers and start spinning around and shooting things with my light and my like laser lightning bolt. One thing is that when I get hit, if I stop shooting, I'll start healing. So you can't just constantly be spraying and praying. You want to sort of have this moment of stopping shooting so that you can just completely heal up and be okay. One thing I do have a complaint about, though, is probably the art style. That's the only thing I don't like about the game so far. I just don't like the minimal, the minimal colors. I like minimalist design, but I feel like you can have minimalist design with better colors, and I died. Ouch. I don't know, I just, maybe I just don't like the red and the tannish. I don't know. But, um, why, the, why don't we take this time? So it's like, okay, I just leveled up, which you can level up. Basically, you see in the bottom, there's, you know, several different, um, uh, challenges. And, you know, the challenges will unlock skulls, and you can, then the skulls go to, uh, more parts, I think. While leveling up is something you get by getting more points. But if we go to the hangar, we can uh, pick out new parts, so maybe I don't want a laser weapon, I want a spread shot, or missiles, or the original one, which is just like one shot, and maybe, ooh, okay, wait, no, go back. I wasn't done there, no. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> and it's like, maybe I want something a lot lighter that's a lot faster, like this, this is the original setup, and this one works pretty well, and you're pretty fast, and you can move a lot faster. The, the thing I was using before was my most favorite, but there's definitely some things I haven't unlocked to experience. And I mean, there are different difficulties that you unlock and that you'll have to do challenges under if you want to continue unlocking things. Right now, I'm trying to beat the challenge where I get 10,000 points, and I'm having a very hard time with it for whatever reason. There's been one time where I hit over 10,000 points, and that was when I wasn't doing the challenge, so that didn't help me out very much. But I have played this on the Vita a bit, and I really enjoy it on the Vita. Um, I thought it played well. I didn't notice any touchscreen or touchpad abilities, so it's just like a straight port from the PS3 to the Vita. There's nothing like special for the Vita. But that's fine, because this game is special on its own. I'm not doing as good as I was with the other one, but it's working, it's working. But you get some pretty interesting, oh gosh, and there you go, already did. You get some pretty interesting upgrades, like some of the things that you can do, like some of these. I know like some of them, like this one is a melee one, so basically it's designed so that you run into people and do damage that way instead of shooting at them, or maybe when you die you can nu nuclearly explode. How about you can go underwater too, isn't that cool? <laughs> Crazy stuff really. I'm gonna do something like, no, actually let me go back and change this to that.
Okay, I feel like this is a really good setup here. And now when I die, I'm going to explode in a nuclear blast. So that's very, very cool. But there are, like, different crazy things that you end up fighting. You know, I've ran into a few things. It's like, you know, a big tank battleship that we've ran into earlier. And then later there's, like, an entire blimp or a zeppelin or something. And it's crazy. And don't, like, don't even forget to mention the music. Very cool. Everything has this unique, like, type of design to it that I feel like Flambeer masters pretty well. They are very good at this kind of stuff when it comes to just design in general. You might also notice that when I'm taking damage, there's a white circle that sort of closes in on me. That's the only way you can um, know how much damage you've taken. I would have preferred a health bar, but this is the second best thing. Okay. I should actually find some enemies here so that I can actually get some points. Where are they? Well, there's a boat over here. Oh gosh, don't die like that. Oh boy. No, 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 not in the water. <laughs> I'm not that great at the game right now. I just started playing today, so um, I need to warm up for sure. But oh gosh, don't do that. But it's like all these different items and things you can equip sort of, you know, change how you should play. So there's definitely, if you're like a specific type of player, there's definitely a setup for you. And that's cool. It has some diversity in gameplay in that way, and it's very open to different types of players. Like, maybe you're better at just ramming into things, you can pick that one that lets you do that. Okay, let's take out some more boats, maybe? I want to kill this big boat, that would be nice. Takes a lot of, like, damage to kill this guy, though. Oh gosh, this isn't working out well too well for me. Come on, I can do it! Oh no. Kill these guys off my tail. There you go. There we go, I got him. Completely destroyed. Oh gosh, that was a missile. Oh no, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, and I blew up. And that's what the nuke looks like. The nuke is super cool. The nuke is like this skull that explodes. Only thing is that the game sort of freezes up. I'm not supposed to, I'm not sure if it's supposed to have that effect, but it definitely has it. So it's sort of weird, it sort of freezes up during the nuke. Besides that, I can press X and I can do the SFMT mode, which I don't know what that means, but basically, it's much more difficult. You can hear there's already, like, the nuke siren going off, and I know that, uh, there's a blimp somewhere. Here it is. Oh, boy. And it's, like, instant. Yep, I just sort of ran right into it. That wasn't a smart idea, but my nuke immediately killed it. <laughs> okay, cool. That's all I have to say about Luft Rouser. It's a really awesome game out today. It actually came out yesterday, so I'm a little late. But it's out. If you would like to try it, you should go right ahead. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.